I've owned Fight to Fitness for about five years, and about two years ago, a man named Michael Qualia walked through my gym door looking for help and wanted to use boxing to, to improve his, his battle against Parkinson's disease. I didn't know much about it at the time, so I started working with him, and I saw that he got real significant improvement within two months. I couldn't believe it. So uh, that's when we decided that we needed to take it to the next level. So my name is Richard Gingrass and I run this program. It is a exercise program that's specifically designed for people with Parkinson's disease. Although we do have people with Alzheimer's disease and tip Neiman type 2, we have lots of people with dementia as well. But all these neurological disorders are very closely related. We work on their gait, we work on their balance, their strength. And one thing that I think is overlooked that is the most important part of it is the social atmosphere of it. This is the only place that I feel they could come and, and feel like they're not an alien on their own planet. One, two, let's go! They're all fighting the same foe. If they're not comfortable here and they're not happy when they get here, they're not coming back. And then nothing's gonna improve. The dream? I had a dream about that. I was like a banana inside of the table. As you can see, we're busting at the scene. We're getting between two and five new people per week. Parkinson's, well, for one, is asymmetrical, so it attacks one side more than the other. Yeah. And it pulls them to the floor, so they, their back gets real strained out. It relieves a lot of tension in their backs, right? Right, Dennis? That is indeed. Does that feel good? I mean, oh, it, very it good. It feels like a strain relief. Yeah. 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 They love it. Rick gets a lot of love. Here we go. One, two, three, family! I'm moving upstairs, and that'll be specific for, for neuro disorders. And this is going to stay right down here. Saturday at 11 a.m.